Good too. Oh, thanks. So, uh, what's going on? What's going on? I don't know. I came in today to find the entire place overrun by multiple copies of the exact same henchmen. That sounds crazy. Why do you keep pointing that gun at me? I'm sorry. So, what should we do? Well, there's only one thing we can do. Uh, call the police? No. Celebrate the 50th anniversary of James Bond on film on today's episode of Mask and Cape. Hey, Internet, I'm McShane, Kevin McShane. And I'm Young, American Young. With the release of Skyfall, 2012 marks the 50th anniversary of the James Bond film franchise. So today we're taking a look back at Bond, the father of all spy movies. James Bond is a British Secret Service agent created by novelist Ian Fleming in 1953. who has been adapted into 25 films to date, starting with Dr. No in 1962. The Bond films are the second highest grossing film franchise in history. It's estimated that since Dr. No, a quarter of the world's population has seen at least one Bond film. Six actors have portrayed Bond in the movie, Sean Connery, George Lazenby, Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton, Pierce Brosnan, and Daniel Craig. Lazenby had the shortest tenure with only one film, while Moore holds the record for seven films altogether. Actually, Sean Connery ties more with seven films if you count his performance in 1983's Never Say Never Again, which is widely considered his worst outing as the British super spy. Now, come on, America, let's... Ah, balls. You know, we really should have called the police. Just keep doing the show. Right. Most Bond films feature James in a globe-trotting adventure to save the world from an international villain. Most famously, Ernst Stavros Blofeld, the bald, cat-stroking inspiration for Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Bond villains are often accompanied by cartoonish henchmen, including Odd Job with his razor hat, Tee Hee with his metal claw, Jaws with his metal teeth, and Xena on a top with her deadly sex thigh. Calm down. Guiding James along the way is M, the head of MI6, is played most recently by Dame Judi Dench. Providing James with his trademark gadgets is Q, played by Desmond Llewellyn in 17 of the 23 films, and most recently John Cleese and now Ben Whishaw in Skyfall. And no trip to MI6 headquarters would be complete without a flirty scene between James and M's secretary, Miss Moneypenny. But Miss Moneypenny pales in comparison to the Bond girls. Whether friend or foe, scientist or sex pot, Bond girls have often suggested names such as Hunt Rider, Plenty O'Toole, Holly Goodhead, and of course, Pussy Galore. Notable Bond girls have included Ursula Andress, Jane Seymour, Grace Jones, Kim Basinger, Tori Hatcher, and Holly Berry. Alright, let's go. What are they doing? I don't know. Looks like they're setting up to shoot the show. Why would they do that? I don't know. Well, I suppose this is a good time to talk about the Bond reboots that began in 2006 with Casino Royale, starring Daniel Craig as a younger, less experienced Bond. Shaking off decades of gadgets, humor, and continuity, the Daniel Craig Bond movies present a darker, grittier version of Bond, which is more like the actual books. In Skyfall, Bond faces off against Raoul Silva, played by Javier Bardem, a cyber terrorist with a mysterious link to both Bond and M. Directed by Sam Mendes, Skyfall follows Bond from London to the South China Sea as his loyalty to M is challenged over secrets from her past. Ooh. Now, come on, America, let's have a gun pointed in her eye. You were the worst secret agent ever. I'm sorry. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Who are you? Show yourself. Ah, Philip K. Duck. So it's been you the whole time. What's your plan? Actually, that's, yeah, that's not a bad plan. It's complicated, but it could work. Yeah. All right, well, enough. You know, with all your planning and preparation, you didn't count on this. It's all right, it's all right. Q put a tiny gun on the tip of my finger. <laughs> so, 
What's it going to be? Are America and I going to get out of this situation? Or is Philip K. Duck going to win? You choose.